Okay, so the first item was recommended by me by uh, my friend Sabrina. And I'll put her link in the description box. She also has a YouTube account. And they are the Wet n Wild Liquid Liners. Now, I am a huge liquid liner fan and gel liner. And this is in the number 863. And as you can see, it's like a turquoise. Uh, turquoise color so let me swatch is very metallic-y and it has stayed on really really well today I must say I was really impressed with the wet and wild Revlon just bitten lipstick and balm now I love lip stains because I think they just um, I think they're so you know, I think they're so good for people that are on the go, can't really do lipstick, then gloss, they just need color, automatic color. And I have two colors here. I have uh, Just Bit In and Crave, which is like a dark red. Put on. And I'm going to have a lot of product on me today. Okay. I've had these for a couple months now, so uh, I've gotten to see how they are. Um, are they as potent as regular lip stains? When you first buy them, yes. After a while, you do have to lay the, them on. Now, they do come with these little balms at the end, which both of mine have broken, okay, which I did not like about these. But other than that, I mean, the color... It's not too drying. I know way back when they had a formula for these and it dried out completely. But uh, for me, it's not an issue because I'm a gloss girl. And if I put on a stain, I'm going to put on a gloss. Flame. Okay. Okay, so you see that. And I find that um, having them for a while, I have to go ahead and reapply. But it does leave... A stain on it not a really pigmented stain but I think just enough color so if you're looking for a lip stain but that's not too intense and in your face I think these are good especially if you have the olive skin tone like me um, if you have the light fair skin tone then any color is gonna pop on you but I think these are great for the price and you know for the payoff The 24 hour color tattoo by Maybelline okay and I got the infamous color tough as taupe now what these are these are not eyeshadow bases these are actual eyeshadows okay so these are not meant for um, being a base now tough as taupe is kind of a, a metallic -y. well not really they're they're quite matte. This one's quite matte. And it's just a shadow. A gray shadow. Just a pure gray shadow. Okay, let me see if I can see. Okay, and usually the way I put these on, honestly, I like to use my finger with these. They're very, very uh, pigmented. They're uh, not too pigmented, though. Very good to blend and, um, they blend well with regular eyeshadow. They crease. They might crease a tad, but uh, that's what eye primers are for. Third item. Okay, so number three is going to be the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup Foundation. Now, I've been using this foundation for about... A month I would like to say and if I could compare it to the Revlon colors day I would say that the Neutrogena is good if you are um, normal skin okay so you don't have a lot of blemishes you don't have a lot of discoloration you're just normal skin just wanting some foundation 
that has SPF, okay? So it is a good foundation. Now, if you have a lot of blemish, if you have a lot of stuff going on, this might not be the most full coverage foundation, but I think it blends beautifully. I think it sets beautifully. It has a satin set, okay? It's just an overall good set foundation. And that is my segue into my next top item, which is the Revlon Color Stay. Now, Revlon is the king, or queen, should I say, of foundations of drugstores, and for a good reason. I don't know what their formula has, but uh, they are extremely, you know, pigmented. They have a great color range, um, and if you don't find your color, you know, you can mix two foundations. Now, I like this a lot, and I got the combination oily skin. I have gotten the normal to dry skin and it didn't give me the coverage or the effect that I wanted which was you know the flawless face um, and I thought what the heck but then I got the combination the oily skin and I have a little bit of oily skin I really don't um, and it just gave me the most beautiful finish um, great coverage a lot more than Neutrogena and I just thought this was great and I'm in 350 rich tan and that's one of my other top so coverage Revlon um, just a beautiful glow okay my next item is by covergirl covergirl put that base in your walk and these are their brands of lipsticks now I got this guy a couple weeks ago and I've worn it I think twice now these lipsticks are so stinking um, pigmented and they last so long okay they last so long I have this lipstick on with no lip liner underneath just concealer okay and it lasted so long and I have the color embrace and I use this color in a video I just did and then it's just this beautiful purpley color you swatch that for you. like plum wine color and let me tell you these go on smooth oh my gosh I love this formula okay so the covergirl lipstick okay next item okay Milani has these mineral blushes and I just think they are so beautiful um, and so potent I am a blush person I can never have too much blush on let me tell you girl and I have the color Mai Tai in these blushes okay so just one little swipe of this and it's already so much color payoff. And I'm probably going to look like a clown with all this makeup going on. Okay, go Milani. Another cool product for Milani is their uh, eyeliners. Very good eyeliners. And I happened to pick this up a couple months ago and I was like, oh man. And again, it's the Milani Mineral Blush with Brush. So I was super excited about this. This is the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Cream Blush. Are y'all ready for this? I was just like, what is that? Can I buy five of them right now? Oh. Okay, I got the color flushed. Are you ready, YouTube? Yes. Can you see the amazingness of this cream blush? Oh, my God, though. I cannot ready. I, I cannot ready. I can't even talk so I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna swash this for you. Swash, 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 swash. And let me tell you, my heart is just gonna break into little pieces if this doesn't work as well as I'm hoping it will. There it is. So I'm just gonna get a little bit, and I love cream blushes because they tend to stay on. And if you really want it to stay on, then like any cream, you set it with a powder. Okay, so this is probably going to be meant for your neutral eye. Okay, this is a tad hard to blend out. Me will be better with the stick than the brush. Hmm. With all this color going on, I don't know. I'll have to try it out. See how I like it. Oh, I forgot one more. Favorite, favorite eyeliner in the world. The Linear Intense. 
by L'Oreal. This is my favorite liquid liner in the whole wide world and I went today and they don't have this exact packaging. What's going on L'Oreal? You better have a different packaging but the same formula. Okay, or else we are going to have a talk. We are going to have a very serious talk for you. So I love this liquid liner. Alright guys, well that's all my stuff. My drugstore, um, top drugstore items and one movie. So, I hope you guys are blessed. I hope you guys are amazing and beautiful. So, bye bye.